so I didn't go to the window where I heard the spooky noise last night. I'm hoping and assuming that if I ignore it, then it'll just go away. Maybe the fact I've been running for so long is the reason the thing keeps chasing me anyways. Maybe. Maybe. I made it through hot springs and found some stuff from some trail angels. I now have enough salmon packets to get me to Maine. <laughs> yes, I do have a problem with how many salmon packets I consume. <laughs> You know, hearing Stephen's backstory, it was odd, just to say the least. I don't know what anyone, or anything for that matter, wants with me out in these woods. I don't. Legend. Oh, no. It's like... Right as I cross into these trees. Oh man, that battle at Bell Witch Hostel was intense. Battle? Oh yeah, that creature practically destroyed the whole cave. Betsy and the witch are still cleaning it up. Lucky for you, they can't leave. Cave? Don't you know the story? Oh, well... I guess you don't. Betsy Bell was the Bell of the Ball back in the day. Her daddy bought a house that was haunted by the Bell Witch, you see. It used to claw up Betsy's leg and her back and make all the crucifix turn upside down. It was terrifying for everyone involved, so Betsy's dad sold her to the witch. Now, they run a hostel and try to trap hikers. Heard that's what's happened to your boy. They try to trap him. Wait, you're telling me he went missing there? No, no, no. That was a few states up when the beast finally got him. Uh, I, I can't talk about it, but the witch did trap me in a spirit tree. That's why sometimes I turn into a bottle. The beast? I, I said too much. What? No, I want to talk more about... Hey, wait, where are you going? I, I, I said too much. What? Oh, Dakota. <gasps> what a pretty new name you have there. Ugh! <laughs>